Looking at the module two study questions, what definition of death does Socrates begin with? Uh, I think it, important to see. Uh, just conceptually to put the thing into kind of a clear, clear order is that Socrates begins with the idea. That is, he begins with rather than tries to prove. He assumes rather than tries to establish that um, death is the separation of soul and body. He, if you read the the, the, the the work as a whole, the Phaedo uh, dialogue, which is the classic expression of Plato's uh, belief in the immortality of the soul, um, he never tries to prove that death is the separation of soul and body. What he tries to prove is that the soul exists after its separation, but that, but that he defines the event of death as being the separation of soul and body. So that's the definition of death he begins with. Uh, why does he think that the philosopher should welcome death? Well, it's because death, um, being the separation of soul and body, allows soul to find truth. You can think of soul as including our concept of mind or intellect. So uh, it sort of ties in with a lot of aspects of Plato's philosophy about what what true knowledge was, what was really real, as opposed to what was uh, only appeared to be real. Um, but in this little excerpt, we have this very sort of famous and heroic passage where Socrates, who is, you know, on his... In, in the jail cell and about to be executed uh, gives this very heroic view of the philosopher and this very hopeful view that death is not the end, but that in answer to this specific question that the philosopher should welcome death because it's only, it's only when the soul separates from the body that the soul can, can now see truth uh, clearly. So philosophy is a preparation for and a kind of a welcoming of death. Number two, what is Epicurus's conception of death and why is it incompatible with the one Socrates espouses? Well, to try to actually correctly characterize Epicurus's conception of death is not easy. <laughs> We're trying to do it for many a year. Um, conception of death is that death is the, as he says, is the privation of all awareness. And, and one would presume that he means the permanent uh, privation of all awareness, which means the end of anything like consciousness, life, being. Um, that's why he says it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing or a good thing. It's nothing to us because when it comes, we are not. That's the best I can do right now. Uh, so why is that inc incompatible with the one Socrates espouses, the Socrates conception of death? Because Socrates believes in the immortality of the soul. For Socrates' death is just a transition to a new and better form of, of life, the life of the soul freed from the prison house of the body. Uh, whereas Ep Epicurus' is death is just an end. It's a limit. We are no more. So they couldn't be more incompatible. Number three, in teaching two, teaching two, Krishna argues that Arjuna should not be upset about killing the soldiers in the opposing army. Why? Well, maybe there's a lot of answers to that. I think the most direct answer is because he's not really killing them. They're not really dead. You know why? Because you can't stab somebody in their soul. You can't stab somebody in their eternal self, in their spirit. Um, you can stab somebody in, in the head, but you can't stab somebody in the soul. The soul is not that sort of kind of thing. It's not the kind of thing that can die. So yes, you're killing the body that that soul is currently incarnated in, but you're not killing them. I said this in the video. I mean, it's really very striking I think, um, parallel or similarity with what, what Plato thought, that the soul was not the kind of thing that could die. So to worry about the death of the soul is to worry about something that was an absurdity. The soul can't die. The body can die. The body will die. But the soul, if it's something eternal, is not something subject to death. And uh, Krishna is saying, you shouldn't be upset about killing this. You, you, you just, first of all, you're just doing your duty as a soldier. You, soldiers fight in battle, and fighting in battle means trying to kill people and risking getting killed. And you worry about either of those things because your body will die eventually. Their bodies will die eventually, but their souls cannot be killed. It'll just they'll continue on. So don't be so upset about it. Incredible uh, piece of philosophical and dramatic 
literature 